everyone and welcome back to another train simulated video. Now big thanks to Davidoff who actually did gift us the class 150. I'm up here because it's so loud down there. So yeah, this is the uh, class 150 which we're in today. It's an odd place for the TPWS on sort of no, there's not door there is there. Um yeah, we're in the 150, uh, which is the train sim classic 150. It probably is quite noisy. Um so let's get that set up. Uh, and this will be all ready to go. The guard. Let's go. So we're, we're on a service down to Bristol Temple Meads. We're all good. Off we go then. In the uh, first Great Western livery one. And yeah, this is on the South Wales Coastal Route, which you can't actually buy anymore. So if you get the 150, well, you're sort of screwed in terms of scenarios included. So you have to, I got this one off the workshop and then edited it and because um, it was using one of the retired 150 packs. So I had to do a bit of scenario editing, although we're here now, we're all good. Also, I wonder if we can change the blind at the front. Because at the moment it's says to We're going to Bristol Temple Meads. Pressing F7, F8, that's sort of the usual. Uh, yeah, you might actually have to just set it within the um, scenario creator. That's fine. <coughs> Off we go. So, yeah, the 150 on Train Simulator Classic. So, big thanks to Davidoff, who did uh, very nicely pick us up this DLC. And I'm sure we will see more of this. Uh, probably end up doing it on the um, Riviera line at some point. I think they run on that realistically, or at least did. I think they still do. Maybe even pick up the AP version of it, who knows. There goes that, we've got 17 and 75. We are fast. I did want to get a couple of stops in, although when I did add stop in the scenario create, it was like, no, don't do that. And it pretty much had a hissy fit. So we're fast to Bristol Temple Meads. Thanks for coming in and uh, joining us on this journey. Should be about yeah, sort of 10 minutes. It wasn't the longest of journeys. As we are fast all of the way. And here's one of the stations ain't coming up which we could have stopped at, although the, it just didn't like me wanting to stop there. It was me. Let's uh, go ahead. This one is Filton Abbey Wood. <coughs> Cool, so we get a little bit of speed, quite sort of downhill here. As uh, we make our way along, it's uh, four miles to Bristol Temple Meads as well. So we've got a little bit of a, uh, well, not that far really. Until we get there. When did the scenario start? I didn't even see what time the scenario began. I think it was 45, wasn't it? So it's only been a couple of minutes, so I'm already three miles uh, to go. Yeah, it will be a fairly short one. But I thought we'll give it a good, give it a little look as a video, and yeah, I'm sure we'll then stream it again at some point. As we uh, coast our way down this very steep uh, downhill gradient. <coughs> I guess it's probably like the Filton Incline or something. The Filton, yeah, Filton Incline. Maybe it's called that. And you've got the passenger view as well. Passenger view is actually quite nice. I like it. Reminds me weirdly of the 319s. The seats are sort of the same. There's some mechanical wires as well. I've got the interior on it. Let's get a bit of break. So it's still down. Look how steep it is that on there. Why is there a gap as well? That's a bit worrying. Why is there a gap there in the distance graph? <laughs> There isn't going to be a whole gap in the rail, is there? I'm a bit worried now. I can't see that on there. Or is it on there? Maybe I just can't see it because it cuts it out for me. Well, let's hope there's a bit of track coming up. Okay, there is. Okay, oh, we're about to go over it. 
Well, that was weird. I don't know why that didn't show up on there. And then down to 40. Then 25 and then 15. As we come into... What's this station? This one is... I don't know why it's not going to bloody sign. Stapleton Road. I've got a feeling that might be to do with my scenery density. So I probably should turn up. I keep meaning to, but keep forgetting. As we get a screenshot of around it. Let's do that. And get a uh, screenshot of this thing. The 150. Not a bad train. Well, the reviews aren't great on it. Uh, but, I mean, detail-wise, it looks pretty good. I oh, know. What does everyone think on the 150? On this game. Apparently, the sounds are nick nabbed off of the 158. Which, yeah, you can hear they are. But, there you go. Let's uh, get that. Let's get back in. And continue our journey as we come into Bristol Temple Meads. All being well, we should hopefully have a green light into it. Or at least a yellow. Look at that blurs out the numbers. Let us ring the numbers. Romford, East. Oh, Brighton's on there. Cool. I suppose yeah, these did run to uh, Brighton, didn't they? The 150s. Sometimes I think you had them on the Brighton to Cardiff service. Which uh, was a bloody long service. And you also then had the 158s as well on it. But unfortunately, that service no longer exists. The Brighton is now purely served by GTR. It's a bit sad, but that does all good things come to an end. Have a little station here. Lawrence Hill, this one. Probably I'm going a little bit slow. Let's uh, speed up just a tad. Okay, another train on the way. I think I can hear something. Maybe not. Might well, have just been our train, actually. But I, I suppose a fairly detailed cab. Uh, yeah, I thought that wouldn't work. Uh, not too bad. That sounds like a 101. Well, there's another diesel train somewhere. Oh, no, it's another one. No, it's a pacer. There it is, there's a pacer there. The uh, 143 that would be. That's just fairly similar-ish to this train, really, so, at least the front. It's very, uh, just a more basic version. <laughs> it's a pacer. Must need to, uh, need to drive out some point the pacer again. Well, probably the next time we're on the Riviera line, we'll probably just end up driving this train. The uh, 150. And then we got a 15 into Bristol Temple Meads. I'm hoping it's been about 10, I think it has been about 10 minutes. There we go, we've got a single yellow as well. I was alright faff trying to bloody path it into Bristol. Like, yeah, I tried at every platform, and then platform 13 actually worked. It was the last one I did. As I said, I had to come in and edit the scenarios. It was using a different 150. It was using like a retired 150 DLC. So I just went in, pretty much swapped it out, and then tried to reroute it again. But it didn't like me stopping at stations, and it didn't like any other platform apart from platform 13. That just is way too noisy. Probably not, but it's quite loud. Pick it off. Sounds like it's leaving. I've been surrounded by HSTs. Yeah, this is platform 13. We'll get into the slightly quiet a bit in a second. Where's the stop marker then? Or is it right to the end? I'm guessing here we'd probably just stop wherever we want. 
so is the stop marker, which uh, there's a HST one, but not a HST. So it's coming to a stop here. Yeah, it's coming to a stop here. Arrived on time here. Yeah, there's the 150. Not actually a bad train model wise. I think the sounds are way off. But modelling wise, it doesn't actually look too bad. Um, let's, let's get into the quiet. There we go. Um, BS. There go, there's Bristol Temple Meads, and there's our little 150 of the brightest headlight in the world. Uh, yeah, hopefully everyone did enjoy that. That was a look at the Class 150. So big thanks to Davidoff for gifting it to us. It was about, I woke up and it was like I said, 5 a.m. in the morning. You've been gifted something. I was like, oh, what's this? And yeah, 150 by Davidoff. So, and I'm going to give that a thumbs up, even though I've already given it a fun, thumbs up. There we go. Well, that is going to be it, everyone, for today's Train Simulator Classic video. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places to the Discord, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in, and I hope we'll see you in the next one. See you all, and take care. Bye, guys.